everyone. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Missouri students, sponsored by the Missouri Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at moacac.org. And lastly, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website. And again, that's moacac.org. And at this point, I just want to turn it over to our presenters, Missouri Baptist. Thank you. Hey everyone, we're super excited to have you uh, with us tonight. My name is Alec Blackford. I'm a freshman admissions counselor here at MBU. I, uh, I graduated from MBU uh, with my uh, bachelor's in sports management and then with my master's in higher education. Uh, I love this university. Um, I love the homey atmosphere that it has and, and the people that I met here. Um, we're going to introduce ourselves and then we're going to get started. So MK, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Mary Kate, um, and I'm also an MBU alum. I studied music, I actually have a bachelor's in music ministry. And my favorite thing about MBU uh, would be just the amazing faculty. I have professors that have walked with me through life, even after graduating, that have worked on big projects with me, um, and are mentors and really have shown me that they care. Colton. Hey guys, my name is Colton Hernandez. I am a freshman admissions counselor also. Um, I just love MBU uh, for the connection it brings, um, whether that is a connection between uh, students um, or between student athletes and uh, faculty and staff or um, anything. I just love uh, the amount of connection that it brings um, to the career field also um, on the back side of things. Hi, so my name is Lauren Krebs. I'm also an MBU alum. I graduated in 2017 with a Bachelor's of Exercise Science um, and got my Master's in Sport Management. I also got to play soccer while I was here. And my favorite part about MBU is like a home away from home. I came and I never left. Um, so I went to school two years here, got my Master's and was a graduate assistant. And now I am working here. So that is why I love MBU. With every sunrise, I feel a ray of hope. With every stumble, I help a friend rise. When I look out at my city, I feel a tug for something more. Inside of me is a light to captivate. At Missouri Baptist University, we inspire each other to lead in the careers of our dreams. The faith and knowledge we grow are a mighty sword for bettering and healing our world. We find our light. We shine on. We're so excited just to share this evening with you um, and that you're interested in learning more about Missouri Baptist University. We know that you're not just looking for the typical college experience. You want something different for the next four years. You want something meaningful, something to be a part of. And at MBU, you're going to be stretched. You're going to grow in ways that challenge not only your academic knowledge, but your dedication to being the best that you can be within your field for the sake of making the world a better place. We want you to find your own specific and unique calling. And today, you're taking a step towards finding that calling. Uh, you're exploring whether MBU is the right place for you, uh, the place you want to invest your educational future. So it's our job uh, to help you find answers to those questions and make that more clear for you. Um, just know that we are located in Creve Core. Um, it's about 20 minutes west of St. Louis um, in Missouri, and we have 1,200 undergraduate main campus students and a 19 to 1 student to faculty ratio. And the most important thing about MBU is that we are um, unabashedly and unashamedly a Christian university, um, and so that flows into everything that we do. Um, Alec, if you wouldn't mind sharing an overview about what we're going to talk about tonight. Yeah, so we're really excited for tonight and just to kind of for the next 45 minutes, just trying to give you guys a feel for what it's like to be a student here at MBU. Um, and to do that, these are some of the topics we're going to go over. So we're going to go over the student experience. Um, 
our some of our major uh, degrees here that are pursued here at MBU, which is nursing, education, and business. Um, the fine arts student experience here, um, career opportunities, uh, what that looks like after graduation, um, the admissions process here at MBU, and then uh, what it's like to be a student athlete um, here. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we are going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the uh, business program. Yeah, so I want to introduce one of our most popular um, programs here at Missouri Baptist University, which is, like Alex said, our School of Business. Um, some of those majors in there are accounting, uh, business administration, healthcare management, IT, as well as um, our newest program, which is data analytics. Um, so with MBU School of Business, it has countless opportunities and various employment paths and with that, I want to let this video that we're about to show sell you on our school of business. In the school of business here at Missouri Baptist University, faith drives what we do and why we do it. We look at serving in the world of business as a calling, a calling from the Lord just as much as any other field of study could be a calling. Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Kennenberg, Dean, School of Business here at Missouri Baptist University. Students enjoy a small class size here at Missouri Baptist University, and with that, it provides opportunity for students to work together, as well as opportunity to get to know their professors and get advice, get counsel, coaching. When you're one of 20 in a class instead of one of 200 in a lecture hall, that's a big difference in terms of how much connection you're gonna make with that professor, um, the ability, and availability for them to be there for you to ask questions explore really what you want to do with your degree and so they really make it your path and everybody's path is different in the school of business the MBU school of business has really prepared me to walk into that first job interview knowing I have the conceptual knowledge to do the job well and also the communication skills to succeed st. Louis has so many internship and job opportunities because so many companies are headquartered here or have major branches uh, and offices here in St. Louis and um, just we have a broad spectrum of industries represented so just great opportunity to find your niche and where you enjoy would enjoy working. I'm looking forward to getting out into the workforce giving back to my community here in St. Louis and just yeah growing into the next step of my life right here in St. Louis. The School of Business is on a continuous path of improvement as well as training students for lifelong learning. Most industries are looking for employees who embrace the constant change and innovation. And the School of Business at MBU is in pursuit of these same things. So another um, major or another branch of MBU that I want to talk about tonight is the fine arts department. And uh, that's very near and dear to me because I did study music at MBU and was part of many of these ensembles um, and the program. Um, so I love this uh, array of pictures because you get a, a better feel for what that's like. So on the top left, we have a picture uh, from Corral, which is a choir that anybody can be part of. Um, if you can sing, you can be in Corral. It's a class that meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and you just get to sing. You get to have fun and build a community through music, and I have some wonderful memories from that. Uh, the next picture over, top middle, is for In Character, which is uh, a drama ministry that MVU has. It's, it's an incredible group of talented students, uh, and they go and spread truth um, through different little skits. They'll do them at churches, at high schools, even at juvenile detention centers, um, because their mission is to go and serve and, and spread truth in that way. The next picture over is of Spirit Wing, which is another one of our ministry groups. They, they travel around um, and they lead worship. Um, and the students are getting great experience in doing that. Um, and um, also many churches and conferences and different events are so blessed by that. Um, on the bottom left, we have our gospel choir, uh, and they specialize in the gospel genre. Um, again, they go around and um, are able to travel um, 
and and perform for for many different events um, in the middle on the bottom is our chapel band that one is a really cool group because they perform and lead worship uh, for every chapel that we have um, and we do have chapel every thursday at mbu and it's a really cool part of our culture here um, and then on the bottom right you can see one of our instrumental ensembles and that specifically uh, in that picture is the jazz band um, and it's just so much fun um, we we have an event in the park where they come and play um, during christmas time and it's it's so fun so if you are a singer an instrumentalist uh, we have a lot of groups for you most of these are auditioned groups um, we want to go to the next slide um, so if you are just in auditioning, many of these do have scholarships. Um, so the first audition for this year coming up is November 14th. Um, and um, that's going to be if you want to major in music or theater, you can audition on that day. Or if you don't even want to do a music or theater or fine arts major, you can still be part of these ensembles. So we encourage you to sign up. Um, and you can kind of see the dates here. We have February 6th, February 15th. And on the 15th, you can also uh, audition, I almost said interview, um, for groups like Abide, the Gospel Choir, and Spirit Wing, like I kind of talked about earlier. Um, fine arts for MBU doesn't just mean music as well. So for us, we have broadcast media, communication studies, journalism, um, the art of telling story um, and communicating truth through the media. Um, so if you are interested in any of these programs of study, um, MBU is a really great place to facilitate those skills. Um, please, like, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, marykate.walton at mobap.edu, um, and I would love to, to be of help with that. Thank you, MK. Um, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the nursing school here at MBU. Um, I think the, the COVID-19 world we're living in has taught us a lot about how important good nurses are in our society. And something we're really proud of as a university is we equip good nurses. And that's something that we do and we do well. And so um, Colton's going to put on a video here in a second, um, just detailing just how we do that and how we grow nurses who um, are doing amazing things uh, in our community. say that students should choose the School of Nursing here at MBU over other area universities because of our Christian commitment and then also because of the relationships that we build with our students. Hi, I'm Dr. Amber Pyatt, Dean of Nursing and Associate Professor of Nursing at Missouri Baptist University. So the School of Nursing here at MBU is unique um, first really because of our Christian commitment. So not only are we teaching our students how to be a nurse, but we're also teaching them how to serve in a very diverse world. This program is very special because it has a small classroom size and the professors are very intentional and it's neat to see how they integrate faith, the Christian faith, with the nursing practice. So our students spend a lot of time in their first semester doing hands-on skills, so learning a head-to-toe assessment, learning just the basic how to wash your hands and how to talk to a patient. Um, and then throughout the curriculum, they engage in simulation activities that consist of mock codes, disaster sims, um, talking about organ transplant, so just a lot of things that they may not be able to see in the real world setting right now as students, but we want them to gain that experience um, in the School of Nursing before they graduate. I always have had a heart for caring for people and, and nursing really fit that because they spend so much time with the patients and they're in and out of their rooms constantly and I think that the School of Nursing has really prepared me to get accepted in the position as a summer nurse extern and also it will prepare me to be competent as a nurse in the real world. Students typically don't have an issue finding a job after graduation um, and we've been very thankful that all of our graduates have been able to find a job even before they've graduated. I really feel like the School of Nursing at Missouri Baptist University prepares our students for a diverse workforce and it allows them to really shine on in the care that they're providing for our patients on a daily basis. Hi 
everyone. My name is Sarah Marie Gibbs and I'm the director of career development. You heard a little bit about um, the other counselors and where they're kind of from and their experience. So I'm going to share a little bit about myself. I've had 10 years of experience in the career realm at MBU, graduated both my undergrad from MBU in 2010 and then completed my MBA at MBU in 2018. I pivoted over into admissions, both in an online and in main campus undergraduate for two years. So I've had the joy of working alongside of some of the incredible people in this presentation. And let me assure you, they will care for you and take care of you. Um, I've also spent the last three years as an adjunct teaching in the School of Business. And now I'm thrilled to be the new Director of Career Development. I'm thrilled and honored to share some of the beauty that is the workforce in St. Louis. Recently, I was reading the 2019 State of St. Louis Workforce Report, which is just my light reading on the side, and some of the things that were presented that really resonated with me. The first one is there is a high need for IT and healthcare workers in St. Louis, and MBU is perfectly situated for these needs, with one of our largest departments being our School of Business, like you saw in the video. Within this school, we have both IT major and healthcare management major. Within the past five years, as you saw in the other video, we have started our School of Nursing, which is accredited, and each year has graduates that are fully employed before they even cross the graduation stage. The next interesting finding that I saw is that even in harder economic times, employers are still hiring and expect to, cont to continue to increase as we move forward. And this allows many diverse opportunities for internships and part-time positions in the student's field. St. Louis has nine Fortune 500 companies headquartered in St. Louis, including Centene, Edward Jones, Amron, and Post Holdings. Um, the joy of going to a school 20, or 20 miles outside of a city are the other incredible companies and opportunities. Companies like Enterprise, BJC Healthcare, Panera, Schnucks, Purina, Boeing, Cassidy, Turley, and McCarthy. Even just today, literally today, we had the director of IT speaking in our Women in Leadership event, which takes part in our career week. Um, the grace and kindness that she shared in her presentation of being a woman of color and a male-dominated workforce encouraged the attendees. Oh, and by the way, she's an MBO alum. And she's one of the many alum that you as a student might be able to pair with as a mentor mentee situation. Another beautiful part of St. Louis is that if you can't find a great employer, you can become the boss. St. Louis is nominated as one of the best cities for startups and the number one city with the most female entrepreneurs. Kudos to St. Louis. And one of the other things that I found interesting in this report is that employers are wanting to hire passionate students who care about the world. St. Louis is home to many nonprofits that have causes in a wide variety of focuses. This is great for those who want to work in human services or social work, or they just wanna to continue to better the world. We have organizations like Mission St. Louis that specialize in K through 12 education and also employment and mentoring for those who have been incarcerated. A place called Bringing Families Together who work with foster care and adoption. And both of these companies have MBU alumni there. This desire to have students who care about the world connects to our greater mission at MBU. And one of our core values is we believe in social change through service and leadership. And this is due to the fact that we are serious and intentional about our Christian faith. These are just some of the recent findings from a report. And while you have so many decisions to make about where you want to go in the future, what you want to major in, and eventually want you, what you want to do with your life, my encouragement would be to choose a place that cares about you and your future. As an alum that came from a large high school and didn't really feel very seen at my high school, when I came to MBU, I was given so many leadership opportunities and it was there, or it was here, that I really grew my character. I was surrounded by faculty and staff that cared deeply about my future and wanted me to succeed, sometimes more than I thought I actually could. Um, whether it is at MBU or elsewhere, that is why I encourage you to find in a university, one that genuinely and truly cares about you. Back to the counselors. 
Thank you so much, Sarah Marie. Um, it's such a privilege to, to know you and to have you as a resource for our students and alumni like me. Um, and you serve our students so well. Um, the next thing we're going to do is look at a video that highlights our education department. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that I'm also a current student uh, seeking a music ed certification here at MBU and I have been blown away by this amazing department. So I'm excited for you to learn more in this video. This is a teaching teachers how to teach division of education. And a lot of people don't understand that. Um, and when they come to the School of Education, they're like, well, what am I gonna learn? Education, how to pass the crafts on to the next generation. Um, Dr. Tammy Cox, the Dean of Education at uh, Missouri Baptist University. In the School of Education at Missouri Baptist University, we have 45 options for certifications, certifying you as a preschool teacher all the way up to a principal. I chose the education program because it's highly praised in producing high quality teachers in the working field. I came here not knowing that I wanted to be a teacher, but when I got in the education program, it has changed me. I've become more patient, helping others more. I love the program here at MBU. All of our faculty members uh, teach from a biblical worldview. They also have a heart for mentoring. They have a heart for passing their craft off to the next generation of teachers. Um, our faculty members spend time with our students in and out of the classroom, mentoring them, assisting them. The education program here at MBU is awesome. The teachers work in collaboration with students and especially me, I've experienced it where teachers give us great feedback and helping us about real life situations that we'll face when we are teachers. Students that usually end up majoring in education and then getting their certification through the state of Missouri are usually students that at a young age um, enjoy working with children. I'm planning on returning back home to the Bahamas and get in the education program and put what I've learned here into use. The faculty at the School of Education at Missouri Baptist University invest in our students. Students that come through the School of Education at Missouri Baptist University are superbly prepared to go out and change lives, to go out and affect positively the lives of our K-12 students in the public schools and in the private schools. Our teachers shine on, they teach on. Um, so Lauren is going to talk to you guys a little bit about our admissions process. Um, we're really proud of our education program, so if you guys enjoyed that. Um, Lauren, if you want to go ahead. Yes, thank you, Alex. So if we have completely sold you on MBU, um, I want you to take out your phone right now, or even if you're just slightly interested and there's um, a chance you'll come here, I would love for you to take out your phone right now and um, search mobep.edu slash apply. So this is a super easy application. It takes about five to 10 minutes. And what it does is it connects you with one of us. And that way we can really help you with the rest of this process that I'm gonna go over. Um, but I strongly encourage you to do that. And that way we can at least see if MBU is a great fit for you. Um, but you might be asking, so how do you actually get admitted to MBU? So after you apply, um, we will need two documents from you, which will be your ACT, your SAT, or your CLT score. Um, and we will need a high school transcript. And usually the best way this is done is you contact your high school counselor and then they send it over to one of us or to MBU admissions. Um, next, we will need a letter of recommendation. Um, make sure it's not a family member. Um, some great people that you can ask is like a coach, your high school counselor, maybe your favorite, one of your teachers, your principal, or maybe your um, individual that, that you work for. Those are just some different things that you can get your letter of recommendation for. Um, and so the FAFSA. So the FAFSA opened October 1st, and the FAFSA is a free application for federal student aid, which is also known as free money. Um, so be sure to fill this out before February 1st, and this just maximizes your chance to get the most money possible. So last, and then registration. So registration 
is registering for our classes and it opens as early as April. Um, and then lastly, if you're wanting to live on campus, um, we ask you to do a housing application by June 1st. Um, but as I said before, if you apply, you'll get in contact with us and we will help you with this whole process. And with that, I'm gonna kind of go over our requirements. So as a freshman, you need a 2.0 GPA and a 20 ACT. So if you have those two, you will be accepted here to MBU. Um, if you do fall a little below that, I do not, um, I still want you to apply because we do have some um, different ways to still get in through that. Lastly, if you are a transfer, um, we offer a 2.0 GPA. And with that, I'm gonna have Alec kind of go over our financial services. Yeah, so I hate to break it to you guys, but college does cost money. Um, but here at MBU, we do the best that we can to try to help you guys out uh, with that. And so I'm gonna go over some of the scholarship opportunities just to try to um, help ease that worry about what college finances will look like. So here at MBU, um, we have a, a scholarship graph here for you to look at. Um, and that has uh, kind of a basic, what you can be expecting for your academic scholarship. Um, based on your GPA and ACT. Um, if you are unsure of where you fall in these boxes, um, definitely reach out to one of these counselors and we can give you more of a specific um, view of what your scholarship looks like. Um, and if you're kind of maybe saying, you know, I took the ACT, I didn't really, not really happy with my score, uh, what do I do? Uh, we'll always take your highest ACT score. So you can take it as many times as you want to up until when class is start and you're good to go. Um, we want you to get as much scholarship money as possible as counselors. That's what we want to do. And so be reaching out to us and we will help you with this as much as we possibly can. Um, and then in addition to these, there are some other scholarships here. Um, going down the list, if you're qualified for the A plus program, that is $1,000 a year in scholarships. If you are a member of a Southern Baptist church, that's $1,000 a year. Um, if you graduated from a Christian high school, that is thousand dollars a year. Uh, if your uh, parent or guardian is an alumni of MBU, it's actually two thousand dollars a year. It's a semester, it should say a year. Um, and uh, if you have a parent or guardian that is a full-time staff member at a church or Christian organization, it's two thousand dollars a year. If you have a uh, sibling that is currently a student at MBU, that's another two thousand dollars a year. Um, it's, uh, you can see a scholarship here for our ministry majors. There's a five hundred dollar one-time scholarship for students who took Excel courses through MBU at their high school, um, $1,500 a year for Missouri Boys and Girls State. Um, and then if you have a church that sponsors you, we will match that up to $2,000. Um, that's a lot of stuff, but uh, the good news is it's all good stuff for you uh, if you qualify. Um, so if you have questions about what you may or may not qualify for, absolutely reach out to us so we can help you. Um, and in addition to this, uh, something we're really proud of uh, as a university is our athletics. That's another way for you to earn some money off that tuition. And so Colton is going to talk to you a little bit about the athletic experience here at MBU. All right. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to talk about MBU athletics and really what that means. Uh, what's it mean to be a student athlete? Um, so just to get started off, uh, MBU is a part of the NAIA. Uh, the National, uh, National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. Um, that is going to be a little bit different than NCAA. Um, a, a lot of people hear about the Division I, II, II and III NCAA, uh, but MBU is a part of the NAIA, which is uh, about 251 universities. Uh, most of them are going to be small, private, liberal arts universities. Um, there's over 60,000 um, student athletes within them. Uh, the NAIA is really focused on character-driven athletics, so that's what they're about. Um, also, the NAI, uh, most athletic departments are actually equivalent to the D2 NCA program, so we're highly um, competitive in that area. Um, within the NAI, though, uh, MBU does have one of the largest athletic departments uh, with about 27 programs. So those range, I named a couple on here, volleyball, football, basketball, esports, wrestling, um, which is also going to be like lacrosse. Um, but there's many um, with men's and women's. Uh, and we also have JV programs. So we have six JV programs. Uh, we want to develop students, whether they're on the court or not. Um, so we want to 
keep it competitive. Uh, we want to really promote um, this competitive drive uh, that's going to help people within their career field afterwards. So we always want to be on the court, in the field, um, doing different things. So um, MBU Athletics here uh, have, has also been awarded the Champions of Character since 2002. So that's a long time. Um, what that means is our aim is to change the culture of sport uh, really provide training and instill values that build character and to lead students, staff, administrators, coaches. Um, there's five pillars to this Champions of Character Award, uh, respect and responsibility, servant leadership, integrity, and sportsmanship. So we really uh, hold these close um, as an athletics department. Uh, we strive uh, just to provide students um, in the classroom and on the training field. Uh, we want to transform you into this champion of character um, within your four years at MBU. Uh, we really want to boost you into the, your career field after graduation, and we feel that this is really the best way to do that. Next slide. So let's talk recruitment. Um, Lauren and Alec talked a little about scholarships um, and about how to get admitted in MBU. That is so important. Um, you will always have to go through the admissions office, no matter what school you go to. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about recruitment, uh, what that means, scouting, uh, what the coaches are really looking for. Um, so as we will work on your admissions documents, getting those in, our coaches are going to be the one to really actively recruit you for their team. Um, so the first thing is to get in contact with the coaches. So uh, if you go on our uh, athletics website, mbuspartans.com, um, located under recruits, it's on the little tab on the right hand side, you'll see MBU uh, prospective athlete form. Uh, fill that out. That'll take you only about five to 10 minutes. It's just filling an application about you, about your awards, where you go to school, um, what you can bring to the team. So that information is going to go directly to coach. Um, it's going to go directly to his or her email. Um, and then she'll be able to reach uh, out to you from there, whether that is um, phone, by email, by text. Um, there's many different ways, maybe even inviting you on campus. Um, so one thing that I can say as a former student athlete is to take control of the process. This is a highly recommended um, take control because this is your education. This is your, this is you getting to the next level, uh, not only academically, but athletically. So contact the coaches, make sure you know the deadlines, um, really be, um, uh, really be up in front, uh, know your, know your time that you're going to need to be, you know, at the tour, really uh, show them respect. Um, so that is something that's huge is just to take control. You're the one driving the bus here. Um, the next thing is just to send in film. So um, there's a lot of different ways uh, that coaches are going to be able to see uh, your skill. Um, a lot of the ways in the past is either them going to tournaments, uh, going to games, high school games. Um, but as of right now, just with COVID and everything, you might not be playing. Um, the best thing to do is maybe even just to set up your iPhone, uh, start filling, filling your jump shot, um, or your handles, how you pass, um, stuff, something like that. That's going to help them uh, provide uh, for their team to provide knowledge um, so they'll be able to recruit you in a better fashion. Um, from there, uh, extending athletic scholarships. So uh, there's two ways um, that MBU does um, scholarships. Uh, being a part of the NAI, our scholarships do work a little bit different. Um, we have athletic scholarship and we also have academic scholarships. So um, Alec talked a little bit about ac uh, academic scholarships. Um, that is going to be through the admissions office, uh, your institutional aid um, from MBU. Now at, a, at MBU, because we are part of the NAI, they're, they're split. Um, so they're not stackable on top of each other. Um, what that means is coach isn't only going to look at your skill set. Um, he's not only going to look at the character you bring to the table. He's going to look at your academic side. Um, he's going to look at what's their GPA, what's their ACT. Um, we want students, uh, well-rounded students here at MBU. Um, so they're going to look at uh, you as a whole individual and offer you from there. Um, so based on skill and academics. So that's what it's all about. Um, with an NAIA program, uh, we do have no restriction on uh, scholarships. So we are allowed to divide scholarships up however we would like, um, though again, uh, they are not stackable. Uh, the last thing is to visit MBU. So um, the visit MBU, uh, we want students to come here. Um, you'll be able to actually meet with coaches um, when you come and visit. So that is um, what whether that's a GA assistant coach, maybe even a current student athlete. Um, so come and visit. But the student athlete experience, lastly, 
Um, with being one of the largest NAIA athletic departments, we need to have a great athletic training program for all of our athletes. So our athletic training facility actually rivals some Division I universities. So we're really excited about that. Uh, we have an athletic trainer on every one of our teams. So they're going to really get to know the student athlete um, and treat you accordingly. Um, if you're injured, they're going to know your rehab process. They're going to know uh, what, what you need to do to heal the fastest and the best at the same time. Um, like I said earlier, we are a big part of the character development on and off the field. We, are, we want to create you into a champion of character um, and to boost you into the, your career field. Um, so that is something that we're huge about. Um, and also we have wonderful athletic facilities. Um, so I'll just name two of them, Spartan Field. Um, as you can see in the picture to the left here, um, it was completed in 2015 with artificial turf uh, and a under just under 12,000 square foot facility. Um, this is going to host um, mostly our football, but we do have locker rooms in there, coaches offices. Uh, we also have um, new stands. So we're really excited. This is going to host football, soccer, uh, lacrosse, and many other sports and track actually. So uh, we are the only institution in the American Midwest Conference with an eight lane competition ready track. Um, so we're really excited. That was actually just put in this year with stands. Um, so that is something we're really excited about. But we also have the Carl and Dolores Petty Sports and Recreation Complex. Um, we also call that the SRC, but um, it's another building on campus uh, that's 47,000 square feet and it's home to our Spartan Athletics. So um, whether that is basketball, um, volleyball, cheerleading, wrestling. Um, a lot of the coaches' offices are in there, so it's home to that, and we really want to uh, promote our Spartan athletics um, through our SRC. Um, and lastly, I'm going to um, bring on Lauren Krebs. She's actually, you've already heard from her tonight. Um, she is a former student athlete here on MBU, so former Spartan, and she's going to talk a little bit about her student experience and her student athlete experience, what brought her to MBU, um, and what kept her at MBU. Um, so, Lauren, it's all you. Thank you so much, Colton. Yes, yeah, so um, like you said, I was a student athlete here at MBU, and I absolutely loved it, and I was, I'm so grateful for the opportunity still today, but I just remember getting that first recruitment call from the soccer coach and asked me to visit campus, and I was super excited, um, but to be completely transparent, as I was researching it, it was a smaller school than I was anticipating, and I didn't really know if I was felt about the whole Christian college thing. So I soon became kind of skeptical about the situation and pretty sure I was not going to go. But even though I had my reservations, I like to keep my options open. Um, so I decided to go on a visit, you know, just in case. So expecting to be like all the other 10 plus college tours I went on, like I said, I like to keep my options open. I was completely taken aback by the sense of community I felt when I was here on campus and the individualized, ex individualized experience I felt from the coach and my tour guide and um, I truly felt cared for and I wasn't even a student here yet. So wrapping up the tour, I was lucky enough that the coach offered me a partial scholarship to come play here. So having school paid for and getting to play my favorite sport, it kind of seemed like a no brainer. And just like that, I was a Spartan. Um, so I did not know anyone at MOVAP, and I was one of those individuals that kind of got homesick, so I was really anxious to start this next chapter here at MBU, um, but my, all my worries seemed to kind of fade whenever I met up with my team, and the sense of community I felt on that first day I came on campus came to life, and I began my journey at MBU, and it seemed to be this instant community surrounding me, and I found my best friend within the program. I'm actually in um, one of my teammates wedding this weekend and um, MBU really came that home away from home for me and not only did I find my lifelong friends had a support of 25 girls but also I had a coach that truly cared about me and not only my playing time or how I played on the field but he really cared about my character my leadership skills and wanted to prepare me for the future um, so I used my coach as a reference many times um, got my first job because of that and um, I really believe that the coaches here truly care for you and want to prepare you for that future. So majority of athletes do not play on after MBU, not saying that we don't have a baseball player alum that's in the MLB right now, but um, most athletes enter the workforce after graduating. And um, the coaches here truly want to them to succeed in their future and want to repair them as much as they can. So is that saying that they do not want to win games? No, not at all. They see the big picture. I want to take care of you even after you graduate. 
Um, another thing is academics truly came first here at MBU. Um, so just to put that in perspective, I never took under 18 credit hours. I worked, I volunteered, and I was part of the club exercise of science and a student athlete. Um, lastly, I wanna share with you guys is the endless opportunities I had as a student athlete. So after I graduated in 2017 with the bachelors, I was offered a full ride to get my master's um, in return to help the head coach coach the women's soccer team. So yes, I was able to play my favorite sport in, in college. I got my master's paid for, and it actually led Aiden me in getting this job here as a freshman counselor, and I have the opportunity now to share my story with all of you today. Um, with that, I'm gonna throw it over to Alex. So if you don't have, um, if you're not an athlete, we have other opportunities for you to get involved at MBU. Yeah, thank you, Lauren. Um, if you find yourself watching this, and maybe you're not interested in being a part of an athletic team or um, maybe fine arts isn't for you, um, we still have stuff for you here at MBU. Um, that's where I found myself here as a student. Um, I didn't wanna play collegiate athletics and I can't sing at all. And so that wasn't for me. Um, but some of the things that we have for you here as options, we have uh, organizations such as MBU Outdoors, we have um, Gamma Delta Sigma, the Association of Black Collegians, we have um, an awesome, awesome student government here. Um, and they do a great job of putting um, different organizations together and events um, to get you engaged in the community here at MBU. Um, because the reality is this is gonna be your home and we want you to find your place. And, and I hope that you get from this, uh, this presentation tonight that no matter what your interest is or what you wanna do, there's a place for you here. Um, and we want you to find that and we care about you guys finding that. Um, so MK, if you wanna finish this up. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we're just so grateful for you being here uh, this evening. We know the next four years of your life are gonna be defining years. This is a transition from high school into a time of creating new lifelong friendships and memories of taking risks and getting feedback from experts in the field, like your professors, um, a time of sharpening the strengths that you already have and refining your weaknesses. Uh, you're gonna meet people that help you change for the better and you're gonna help them change too. Um, I know searching for the right school is an exciting time and we are here to help you through that process. So please reach out uh, with any follow-up questions. We wanna chat about whether MBU is the right choice for you. Um, we also would love for you to come and visit. Um, we have some visit opportunities coming up. One of those, my favorite, uh, would be Spartan Preview Day. It's October 10th, it's a Saturday. You can come, we'll feed you. Uh, you can hear from professors and staff. You can meet current students. You can talk to coaches um, and we'll even have some entertainment. Um, but really the main purpose is for you to be on our campus and decide, does this feel like home? Uh, does this measure up to what I've heard? Does it live up to the hype? Um, and is it the right choice for you? Another option would be Spartan Fridays. Um, there are several events um, coming up. So it'll be October 2nd, 16th, 30th, and then November 6th, um, where you can come. And it's kind of a smaller version of that Spartan preview day, obviously on Fridays. Um, to sign up for those or an individual campus visit or to look at our virtual tour, just to get an idea of what campus looks like, you can go to mobap.edu slash visit dash experience. Um, and we are so excited to meet you. We're so excited to show you around, have a cup of coffee with you um, and get to know your story. So thanks again for coming tonight. Um, please reach out if you have questions for any of us specifically. Uh, our email is gonna be firstname.lastname at mobap.edu. Um, so thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Hi everyone, so thank you for joining us for the MOA CAC presentation. I just wanted to let you know that we will have a four question survey sent to you after the end of this webinar. Um, also, I encourage you to just sign up for more presentations. So they will all be found at www.moacac.org as you see on your screen. And lastly, recording will be available. So in about a week, they will be uploaded to the website. And again, that's www.moacac.org. Have a good night. Thank you.